I thought I'd just give you a, a little uh, extra on uh, what I did yesterday. These are the ones I did yesterday. And here you go. And you can see uh, how, how cute that looks. Because yesterday I was thinking, you know, I'm wondering how many people are thinking, no, that is but ugly. But see how when you frame it, it sort of comes to life and it's really pretty. And it has the glitter on it, as you can see. So when it's ready and it's hanging on a wall and you walk by, by you'll see just a little bit of gliss, glistening and it makes it look really cool. Now, I'm not sure. Um, every monitor is differently calibrated and this is totally more blue than it is green. So in real life, it really looks good. And the funny thing is my gloves really look the same as what they are in real life, but this color really doesn't come in uh, well on a monitor. So this is really pretty. Let me get in a little bit more focused. There it is. Okay, another one we did yesterday. Oops, don't fall on the ground. Don't want to go catch you. Now that one totally pretty when you frame it or this you could do this one very pretty this is another one I did yesterday yeah they're all already dry oops I didn't oh, well I could do it like this let's see no glitter on this one though so that one and this one doesn't fit I'm pretty sure See, there's too much uh, white all around, so we can't use that one. But this one is an, a really stunning one. So we can use this one. There we go. And I'm already thinking of something that I want to do with it to make it even more prettier. Eh, but this is okay. And there's just very little paint involved, and you get something really pretty. Now this one has a little glitter up here. As you can see, maybe I should have put some down here. And this is the one where I put um, those long stripes on just to make it more interesting. And there you go. It looks okay. Maybe like this. But as you can see already, uh, just, you know, I was, uh, how long did this take? I think 15 uh, minutes. I have a couple more, but they're not dry yet. I put these on a heater so, so they would dry really fast. But in 15 minutes, you can make like six or eight of these. And, you know, it's really nice to have something like that on your art show. Just, you know, for people with a low budget to get a real piece of art. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Okay, we're... <coughs> doing the string gel. This is it, string gel. It's pretty expensive stuff though, but you know, sometimes you can't help but use something that is a little bit more expensive and it's pretty much stuck, so close your ears. Had to whack it on the table. Yep, that helped. Ew, there it is. I have used it before. So um, it needs a lot of stirring. And what I have in here is Vallejo Fluid Black. And I put in both blacks just to make sure that I get the best black. So, as you can see, it's starting to form, but not stringy enough. Ooh, there's a little bit of gook in there. Let's just put the gook in there. Can't see it, it's black. So a little bit more. And we're gonna stir it again. See, the stringy thing is that when you hold it up like that, it's not stringy at all. It's just not stringy, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping this is stringy. Okay. 
Maybe we might have to give it a little bit of uh, water. Who knows? I'll read uh, the label in a bit. I'm normally not someone who reads manuals or labels. I'll, ju I'll just, you know, <laughs> start out doing something. And if it doesn't work, then I'll read the label. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice and stringy. Needs a little bit of water, I think. I'm not sure if I can put water in here. Let's see. A gel with honey-like consistency enhances depth of color and increases transparency. Permanent, non-yellowing, flexible, and water-resistant when dry. Mix acrylic color for interesting applications and effects. Do not mix with oils. Gently pour to yield a long, consist constant flowing string of gel. Mix with... And it just does not say that we can add water, but we are going to add a little bit of water because I like to do stuff that no one do, does. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen now, but we'll see. And I can always start over, right guys? Okay, this is feeling a little bit more like I was thinking it was gonna feel. Let's see, ooh, pretty. Okay, this is it. So put that aside. Put that aside and we're going to get our oh no let's do a test run first I almost never do test runs but I am going to do one now so what I'm thinking of doing is something like this first I want it to go all stringy and then oh, that's not stringy that's not stringy at all, guys. I think it needs a little bit more water, or no water, but then we'll have to start over. So we'll see what happens. That is really ugly. I'm glad I did a test run. Nah, I think I shouldn't have put water in it, but see, this is the, the bit where um, I'm a little bit frustrated, but on the other hand, a little bit happy because that way you guys are never gonna do what I'm doing. <laughs> this is sort of an experimental thingy. See, that does not work. It just comes up off in drops no matter what you do. And when you do this, it's not stringy. So back to the drawing board. Get the paints. Get the cup, put in a little bit of black. I'm doing each color. That's two sorts of um, black. It's ivory black and lamp black. And we'll just do that again. Only this time we'll use a little bit more of that string jelly stuff. Although they could have sort of made it more stringy. So Liquitex people, if you're watching this, make it stringy. Let's see if we got it now. See, it's just too thick. I don't like it when it's that thick. Okay, we'll see what happens. Eh, I don't want that really what I was yeah that's what I was looking for that's that's what you want so let me throw this away get a new one oops I already made a little mess on it because I have some on my fingers so what we don't want to do is put water in it you just want to Put it on your little sticky stick, let the first chunk come off, and then you can sort of, see that? Then you can make it come off the stick like stringy. That's kind of nice. Okay, that works. I am, though, very hesitant to put it on the uh, background, but hey, it's all an experiment. And that way you guys can see 
some of the things you can do with one of these backgrounds. So we're going to put it right here and we're going to let it come off here. Wait till it gets really thin. And there we go. And you want to go slow because you want one continuous little stringy thing. <gasps> uh oh. Had some water in it. Don't know how I got that. Where's the water? Is that my sleeve or something? Nope. Oh well. Wait till it gets all stringy. And then we go. Ooh, we had a little break there. There we go. Now you're thinking, ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> I know. So here we go again. Let it come off until it's stringy. And here we go. You can make pretty much uh, patterns with this stuff, but you gotta make sure that you don't pull it too fast or you're gonna um, break the, uh, the string. You gotta watch it flow off your stick. Here you can stop. Okay, now the thing is that this just gives it a little bit of an accent. Now watch. Now if we take a piece see that all of a sudden it really comes together it just gives it a little bit more of a I don't know contrast whatever you might want to call it it does give it something extra and um, also it makes it just a little bit more artsy right I kind of like it but this is um, a very dangerous thing because you never know where to stop. So we're going to let it come off again. Just, you know, for the sake of me showing it. Here we go. Maybe a little curly whirlies here and there. See how that looks. with the curly whirlies. See that? That's almost bordering on too much. See how this is just a little bit nicer? <clears throat> the thing is when you um, overdo it, the thing is that people, I don't know where that is coming from. It's like it's um, like it's wet, like there was a drip of water on there or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll let it dry. But when you do this, it's sort of like people are thinking, eh, you went crazy with the string gel, girl. And then when you see this, I would have liked that gone, but okay, if we can pull it up a little bit. See, then it looks like it's artsy. <laughs> I hope I hope you can follow me in, in how I'm looking at it. Because, you know, this is just too much. This is just right. It gives the uh, the interest in the piece. It doesn't overpower anything. And when you look at this, it's just too much. And I'm not sure you guys are agreeing with me, but this this is for me. This is too much. It's too much black. Where this is interesting, this is yeah, not really there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just letting you guys, you know, f go with the flow with me. Now, if you think this is too expensive or you think it's too, um, you know, freaky how it comes off the stick and you're afraid you can't do that, there's another way to uh, do this, and that is by using one of these. Um, of course, it's covered in paint. Sorry about that. Let me clean it a little bit. Okay, it's clean. 
Now, this one is a, a calligraphic pen, calligraphy pen. It's water-based pigment ink, and once it's dry, it's waterproof, and that's what you really need. You want the waterproof stuff. I think it's Sakura. I'm not sure what it is. I don't see a brand. Not even sure where I got it. But let's say we didn't put the string gel on. You could just see how a calligraphic pen is uh, has a chiseled sort of a tip. So then you can do the thin. And you can make it thicker and thinner. Now, I have total control over this line. And when you look at it here, you know, this is total no control whatsoever, but this is total control. So if I were to do that, and you can do it, like, see when you turn it, you get the really sharp, but by turning it, it also goes to the broader part of the, uh, of the tip. And that makes it kind of interesting. That's why I don't take a normal marker, but one of these calligraphic markers. So again, then you turn it and turn it and turn it and you get this nice wide, small, wide, small. Okay guys, so that's another thing you can do. Now another thing you can do is use um, the marker things. Now I have uh, Poshkas, let's get a Poshka. Where is my Poshkas? This is not a good color, but okay. This is what I sign my uh, paintings with. This is a uh, Uni Posca, and this is a 0 0.7 millimeters. And this one is turquoise colored, it's that color. So that's normally what I sign my paintings with. Unless they are this color, then I go to a darker blue. Now with this, you could be making like the doodles on top. And as you can see here, they really pop up from the uh, from the uh, paint because you take a color that is really you know contrasting, and you could do that. Then I have gotta get my little thing here. Zip the doodle. Yeah, I have a lot of these pens. If there's one thing I'm into, it's pens. Now. And here we do the other color. So we have here orange and blue, and here we have blue and orange. And this is something that if you don't want to spend your whole day in the studio, this is stuff you can do, you know, in the living room. Uh, have your husband cut up a board that you can put on your lap, and then you can do this sort of um, work while you are watching TV or doing something else, I don't know. But I, I really like doing stuff while watching TV. Lately it's playing casino. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's true. I lost 100 euros yesterday and this morning. And um, uh, I'm gonna try and win it back later. But once that money's gone, I'm stopping casino. I'm one of those people, I don't know if you know that, but there are always people that have the system, right? Go to YouTube and click um, how to win with roulette and you will get 26 million systems that will guarantee you <laughs> winnings every time you spin. That's too funny. So I've been doing that because I was just, you know, sort of uh, figuring out what I, how I would do the roulette. First I did, I watched the tables and then if we were four or five times the red would fall, I'd go to black because the odds that black would fall would be high and then I'd put in like 50 cent and then if it, if, the, if it didn't come the black then I'd just double and double and double until it came. But you have to have a lot of money <laughs> to do that because I was, you know, going through my, every time I just, you know, um, deposited something like five euros, I didn't want to make it too, uh, too crazy. So and then it was gone and I had to do another five. But every time when I stopped, the next time the color would fall. So I thought, you know, just put a little bit more money on there, then you can do that. So I was having a good time. I went from 50 euros to 200 euros in two days. Yes. And now this morning it's gone because I had a new system that was going to work. 
<laughs> don't do it, people. I don't, you know, I, I'm not, I don't think it's really um, honest, honest stuff because it's so weird. Yesterday I had a, a black full uh, 14 times in a row, black. Can you imagine that? 14 times. I think the odds of that happening is now next to none, really. Really next to none. Okay, I'm done with the playing around with this. I'm going to let this dry. We'll just see. Um, let's see if the, those little dotties there. It makes it a little interesting, but you'd have to, you know, repeat it a, a couple of times. But just doing the little dots on it would be really cute. Let's see. Let's do something cute like up here. Just to give you an idea, guys, because this is something you can do like all winter. And you could work on these cute little things. And then in the summer when all these art fairs are starting, you could go sell them. And you would have like a really nice little stash that you made all winter. And you don't do stuff outside anyway. So, uh, well, here you don't because it's really cold and windy and oh no, I'm stuck in that stuff. But uh, you could do this like all winter long, make a nice little stash. Now that's interesting. And then sell them. See that? That makes something, that makes it interesting. That is cute. Even if I have to say so myself, <laughs> that is cute. So what you have is a little bit of black for the contrast. You have the little dots just, you know, as a point of focus. Then we have a little bit of gold for the little bit of glittery to make it just a little bit more special. And you have these beautiful colors. Now, the colors I used, I do want to uh, express um, that you don't have to use these colors, but um, the colors that you do use add a lot of white because by adding the white, it sort of makes it um, all the colors sort of flow in together and make them look good together. But see this, this I'm gonna frame. I'm gonna let this dry. And this one I'm going to frame and I'm going to put on my shop because I really like this one. And it's so easy to do. And it is very satisfying when you do one of these and you frame it and it's all ready to go. That's really satisfying. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces. And I'll see you in the next video.